We well, heard Eric mention Indiana's near total abortion ban, which led Gen Con organizers at some point to possibly consider leaving the state. That ban still hasn't taken effect, despite the Indiana Supreme Court ruling that it could. Fox 59's Hannah Adamson explains now what's happening there and how hospitals are dealing with the legal uncertainty. The Indiana Supreme Court has yet to grant or deny the ACLU of Indiana's petition for a rehearing. That would take a new challenge of the ban back to the circuit court that first heard the case. Now, if this happens, legal experts say this process could stretch on for years, something that's of little comfort to Hoosiers in need of abortion care amid an uncertain legal landscape. We have many, many more questions than we have answers. Beth White works with victims of rape and incest on a daily basis. She says she's reached out to several hospitals over the past year to get a better idea of what standard protocols for abortion care will look like under a near total ban but has had little success. And I am very, very concerned that this uh, this network of health care providers in Indiana uh, is just not providing the remedy that people need. But several hospital networks say they've been proactively preparing. Last fall, IU Health created a 24-7 rapid response team in anticipation of the law going into effect. A statement saying in part, quote, the rapid response team consists of a clinician, ethicist, and legal representative to assist providers. A spokesperson for the Indiana Hospital Association says it's working to ensure compliance, saying in part, quote, we remain committed to ensuring our patients have timely access to life-saving treatment and that our trusted medical professionals have both clear guidance and clinical discretion to provide the best care to Hoosier moms and babies. This as the ACLU could be in for another lengthy battle. This process will most likely take months, if not years. Law professor Jody Madeira says she expects the ACLU will be successful with a more narrow challenge of the ban. The law as a whole will not be necessarily stripped and rewritten, but certain parts of it will be because it is very vague and it doesn't provide doctors and hospitals with much guidance. She says parts of the ban that will most likely be challenged include provisions for the life of the mother and for serious health risks. Challenges could require those parts of the law to be more specific. Reporting in the newsroom, Hannah Adamson, Fox 59 News. And I think